What's up guys, it's Ashen here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be looking at some of the exclusive weapon skins coming to the store in Apex Legends very soon and also discussing some small changes and updates coming with the Christmas event in the next few days. Now if you do go on to enjoy the video make sure you smash like and subscribe to the channel. The growth on the channel recently has been absolutely incredible. Thank you all so much once again for your continued support. If you're new around here make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more regular Apex Legends content and without further ado let's get straight into the video. As always guys when I make these videos about leaked content, I have to say thank you to each and every one of the data miners themselves for all of their hard effort finding this content within the game files. So thank you to that one mining guy, Iloot Games and Cornbreadman264 on Twitter. Make sure you go follow all of them and check out their respective YouTube channels. They're absolutely amazing data miners for the community and without their hard work, none of us would have any leaked content to show off to you guys. So guys, on screen, as you can see right here, we have the first set of four exclusive skins coming to the store. And you may have already seen the Regulator and PAL 9000 recolors in the store. Those are the first two of the sets to come out. However, we have not seen the last Spartan recolor or the Quantum Chaos recolor, and those look very nice indeed. Moving on here, we have a recolor for the Gold Dragon, which looks kind of bronzy. I'm not entirely too fussed about this recolor myself. Looks kind of similar to the original in my opinion. However, we have another Triple Crown recolor. We have another Kraber Lifesaver skin recolor, which I think looks really nice with the red and black. I'm a huge fan of this skin myself and will definitely be picking it up. And of course, we have this L-Star recolor down in the corner, which I don't think too many people are gonna to be too fussed about. Moving on though guys, I definitely tried to save the best till last in terms of these weapon reskins for you and we have first here a Death Ray reskin once again which tells us that they are actually going to be reskinning old exclusives instead of bringing out the previous version of the weapon recolor. We have already had a Death Ray reskin and that means that we are probably quite unlikely to see the old variants come back to the store which will be a huge disappointment to a lot of people I know. We still may see them, this isn't confirming that they won't come back to the store, however the fact that we are getting another Death Ray reskin rather than getting the old variant back is very interesting and would indicate that we are probably only going to get brand new reskins rather than the old variants back in the store. We have a search and rescue alternator skin here which is pretty nice with its blue and orange recolor. We have a very, very exciting R99 kill switch color, which I think looks amazing. The blue and green on it are very, very nice. I'm a huge fan of the blue on it especially, and I think I'll be picking this one up the second it drops into the store. And of course, we have the Dark Realm Prowler skin, which I think looks pretty nice, kind of Egyptian. A uh, huge fan of this skin as well, and I'll definitely be picking this one up as well. But guys, these are the only weapon reskins which have been leaked to be coming to the store over the next few weeks. If you're interested in seeing any of the exclusive Legend skins to be coming out to the store, make sure you check out my previous video where I leak all of the Legend skins which will be coming out over the next few weeks in Apex Legends. Make sure you drop a comment below about whether or not you're excited for any of these weapon reskins. Personally, I'm very excited for both the Wingman and the R99 skin. I think they're both very, very nice recolors and I'll definitely be picking them up as soon as they hit the store. Moving on just slightly here guys we've got this exciting code found in the game here which suggests to us that there will in fact be a giant Christmas tree coming to Apex Legends just as we've seen in similar games over the past where we have seen Christmas trees and Christmas themed maps pop up in the game just like in Christmas Crash in Call of Duty, the snow takeover in GTA where the whole map was covered in snow and of course all of the Christmas trees in Fortnite. It looks like Apex will be hopping on this trend as well and dropping us a giant Christmas tree which would be absolutely incredible. Maybe we can find some high tier loot or secrets underneath the tree. Who knows, we'll have to wait and see for that one, but it's a very exciting little change that they're going to be adding to the game in the next update. But with all that being said, guys, that's all I've got for you for this video today. I hope you did enjoy the video and enjoyed looking at some of the brand new skins coming to Apex Legends in the very near future. If you did, make sure you smash like and subscribe to the channel for more Apex Legends content. And without further ado, I'll be off now, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.